Hey there, it's Marianne from Thrive and welcome back to my channel. Now, if you're working in Excel with some large with a large volume of data and you're looking for a quick and easy way to create a beautiful heading that's polished and professional and easy to work with, then I've got the tip for you today. We're going to have a look at how we can merge cells in our Excel spreadsheets to create beautiful headings for tables and groups of data with literally three clicks. So let's dive in and get started. So here's an example. So imagine we've set up this table and in this instance, I've got this is my list of my current clients for April 2025 or clients who've taken work this month, whatever it might be. It might be sales report. It might be all sorts of things. But what we've done is we've got all of our data and then we want to create effectively a header for that data. And at the moment, these are all individual cells, but I want this to really stand out as a header and to be um, spanning across all of those columns. I want it to run all the way to the end here. And to do that, we use a feature called Merge Cells. Now, for this video, I'm going to be working in Excel on the desktop on a PC using Microsoft 365 Business. So if you're using any of the um, different options in that set of variables in terms of your operating system, your device, or your subscription, or the model that you're working with, so whether you're desktop or web-based, then your buttons and layout may look different, but the functionality is the same. You can absolutely do this in any version of Excel. And merging cells is the easiest way for us to achieve this. It's a really simple process and it's really quick. So we're going to highlight the area that we want to merge. So in this instance, I want the new cell, I want to create this box to be the full width of my table. And then I head up to my home tab here and we head to the alignment section and we have this option merge and center. Now, if I click on this, what it's done is instead of these being treated as individual cells, A1, B1, C1, A1 now actually extends all the way effectively to the end of J1. So you can see here, these are all individual cells, whereas when I click here, it's that whole area. I can then format this. I can make it all sorts of different sizes. And that now is a formatted heading. Quick and easy. Merge also gives us some other options. Um, so the merge and center is the default that it provides for us, but it can do just merge across, which will, in this instance, it would, if I go back to, if I just control Z and we go back to where we were, if I was to change my formatting first and bold, if I, from the drop down, if I just go merge across, you can see the text doesn't move. It doesn't do any other formatting. So merge and center will put the text into the center alignment. Merge across simply works with the cells. Merge cells will only do the cells you select. So in that instance, you could go down through different rows as well. It wouldn't just be about columns. And then we have the option at the very end to unmerge cells. And we go back to those individual cells if you wanted to change something. So there you have it. And there you have it, a super simple way to add headings that allow you to work with your data in a more structured, formatted way. So if you found that really helpful, don't forget to give the video a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the latest Excel and Microsoft 365 tips. I share great new content every week. And if you subscribe, you'll get notified as soon as it goes live. Thanks again.